Okay everyone, so in this video, we're gonna learn how we can install and set up HiveOS on your rig so we can start mining your desired coin, all right? So we're gonna do this from scratch. And after this video, you will be able to mine your desired coin like Ethereum and things like that, okay? So all you have to do is just go to the link in the description to come to this page. And after that, just go and click on this one. If you don't have an account yet, register. Just click on this and just add your email, your desired login and your password. And also I have a promo code for you. That means if you use this promo code, you will get uh, $10 from HiOS in your account. Okay. So the promo code is W A A T Z and 10. If you add this promo code, you will get $10. Also disclaimer, this promo code is an affiliate promo code. That means I will also get $10. Okay. So just sign up for an account. And after that, just log in to your account. And we're going to create a form first. So if you don't have any forms, you may be prompted to create one. But uh, otherwise, just click on this uh, plus sign. And just go and name your form to whatever you like. I'm gonna name this to Andreas. Just add your time zone and just leave this as it is. And after that, just click on save. And we will directly jump into our form. If you want to access your form, you can just go to the main page and we see the form right here. Let's click on the form. Okay, so now we want to install HiOS on our rig. So you need to have a USB with at least eight gigabyte on it, okay? And it must be empty. So to do this, we're just gonna go and click on this one, add rig. We're gonna go and click on install new. So just choose your OS. I'm using Windows, but you can choose Linux or Mac OS as well. I'm gonna click on Windows. And after that, we're gonna download Hivon installer. So just click on download. And after that, we're going to prepare your SSD or USB drive. So insert your USB or SSD drive right now. And we can see that this one is empty. Okay, I'm just going to X this. And after that, we're going to open up the file we just downloaded. So Hive on installer, just open it up. And if you get this protection message, you can just click on more info and run anyway. Click on yes. Okay, so now we got this uh, select disk image. I'm gonna choose the latest uh, high OS. We're gonna go and click on continue. And then we're gonna add the form hash. It's automatically added. So it doesn't need to do anything right here. Just click on continue. And now we're gonna select the USB drive. So I'm gonna select my USB. And after that, we're gonna click on flash image. So now this will uh, flash this image to the USB drive. Okay, so now we need to wait for this to complete. It will take maybe 15 to 30 minutes and I will pause here and I will come back when it's done. Okay, so we have success. Your USB stick is ready. Now you can plug it into your rig. Okay, so I'm just gonna go and X this uh, window. So insert it to your rig. So now we're gonna go and take out the USB and we're gonna connect it to your uh, rig. And also need to make sure that your uh, BIOS is set up so you will reboot from a USB. And after that, your rig should end up in your HiOS account within some minutes. So we're just going to go and click on done. And I will go and add this USB to the rig. Okay, so just take your USB drive with HiOS on it and plug it into your rig. Like so. And just start up your rig. 
and if you get like this windows instead of highways that means you haven't uh, changed uh, to boot from your USB drive okay so to do this you need to go into BIOS so I'm just gonna restart the computer and we need to click on like F1 or F2 or escape depending on your uh, motherboard in my case it's uh, escape like so and now we are just gonna go to uh, boot go down to boot option number one hit enter and we're gonna choose our USB drive just click on it and after that we are just gonna go and save and exit so I'm gonna click on save changes and reset and just click on yes and now this will uh, boot from the USB drive and everything works we got HiveOS okay so just wait while uh, HiveOS is working and also make sure to use uh, Ethernet cable. It uh, doesn't work very well with Wi-Fi. All right. So when you see this uh, information, that means everything is set, and we can go back to our uh, computer and set up uh, flight sheets and things like that, and start mining your desired coin. Okay. So after a while, you should see uh, the rig right here under workers. So we can go into the rig. And here we can see our graphic cards, we can see the temperature and things like that, okay? So everything is all right. So now we need to create a flight sheet to be able to mine your desired coin. So just click on flight sheet. And after that, we're gonna go and click on flight sheet. Just click on this one, add flight sheet. And choose the coin you want to mine. I'm gonna mine Ethereum we're gonna add a wallet if you don't have that if you have one just click on select your wallet if you don't have a wallet just go to add wallet and you're gonna add a wallet address if you don't have a wallet address for your coin uh, you can go to the link in the description and this will uh, take you to Binance uh, where you can store your cryptocurrency so you find the link in the description, you can go and create an account. And also disclaimer, this link is an affiliate link, that means I will get a small commission if you sign up through my link. But you will get a 5% kickback commission uh, as a thank you. So let's go to Binance, go to Fiat and Spot. I'm going to search for ETH, Ethereum, right here. We're going to go and click on Deposit. I'm gonna choose the network, I'm gonna choose uh, ETH. Make sure to have the same network as uh, the sender, otherwise cryptocurrency may be lost. So we're gonna copy this uh, address, we're gonna go back and we're gonna paste it right here. Just name your wallet to whoever you like. You can choose a source if you like, so in this case it's Binance. And after that just click on create. Let's go and select the pool. Uh, I'm just gonna choose Ethermine, but you can choose whatever you like. And the rule of thumb is to choose uh, a server that are closest to you. So in my case, I live in uh, Europe. I'm gonna check Europe, but you can choose uh, US or Asia if you are closer to those, okay? After that, just click on apply. Then we're gonna select miner. So you see uh, right here, Nvidia or AMD. I have NVIDIA, so I can choose uh, T-Rex miner, but you can choose any other miner of your choice. After that, just name this flight sheet to whatever you like. Click on create flight sheet, like that. Now we can go to workers, we can go into the worker, 
and we can go to flight sheet and we're gonna click on this uh, rocket to launch the flight sheet click on apply so now iOS will send the uh, config to your uh, rig so Nvidia settings applied go to overview so now you can just wait maybe five minutes and just update until you see uh, some hash rates right here okay so now we can see that we have hash rate right here but we can also see that the temperature are quite high so we need to go and overclock uh, these cards to get maximum hash rate and get lower temperature and lower power consumption but first we can just go and click on this one all and we can go and set fan speed to 100% and just click on save so we will cool down the cards and now we can go and add some overclocking settings to get maximum hash rate and also disclaimer you always uh, overclock your GPUs at your own risk yes so you know so we have this one 1660 super at the moment we have 20.88 megahertz per second and we can go to a website called hashrate.no I have Nvidia I'm gonna click on Nvidia I'm gonna go down to the list and find 1660 super click on that and we're gonna go to this one ethereum overclock so we got uh, low high or high next memory so I will go back to HiOS and I will check for my memory so in this case I have Hynix, okay. I will go back to hashrate.no and I will add these uh, overclocking settings. So we have core 1100, we have memory minus uh, 1004 and power limit 80, okay. And expected hash rate is uh, 31.74 megahertz per second. So we're just gonna go and apply these settings 1100 minus 1004 and 80 okay so first i'm just gonna go and update and see the temperature okay so we can see that we have 100 percent fan speed at the moment and we have uh, much cooler uh, gpus so now we don't have to rush with the overclocking settings so we're gonna go to uh, 1660 super click on this uh, icon we're gonna add uh, core clock 1100 memory clock minus 1004 we're gonna add fan speed at zero so this is for auto but you can also add a fixed uh, amount like 80 percent and things like that uh, depending on how hot your card is i'm gonna start with zero and see how hot the card gets after that we're gonna just apply 80 for the power limit and we're gonna go and click on apply and we're gonna see if we can uh, get uh, the desired 31.74 uh, hash rate so just go and update the browser and now we can see that we get uh, for our 1660 super 31.74 so that's a spot on uh, it doesn't have to be exactly this number it can be like 31 or 32 and we have a temperature of uh, 63 celsius we have 66 percent fan speed and 79 watts uh, power consumption and here we have the overclocking settings so if you want to have a cooler card you need to uh, increase the fan speed so now we can just go and add overclocking settings for the rest of your cards using hashrate.no just look for your card and just apply the settings okay okay everyone so this is how you can set up and install HiOS on your mining rig and also how you can start mining your desired coin if you'd like to join our discord server we are all about mining if you have any mining problems and things like that you find the link in the description so just uh, join us uh, we love to have you on board okay everyone so i hope you have an awesome day take care and bye